started doing cable crunches, and I've got my workout partner here today. Okay, you gotta move. All right, today's uh, bench day again, and uh, I'm back here with the uh, pin presses. I think I'm going to do pin presses for a few more sessions. Um, today with the warm-up, it felt better than the last session, but as I raise the weight up, it's still, it's still kind of uh, iffy here, but uh, I'm still progressing. Um, I have no problems after working out, it's just during working out. It's not sore or anything after uh, working out and you know the two days uh, lag before I bench again. So uh, anyway, I'm warmed up and uh, I did uh, three sets of um, 95 pounds uh, the last session. I did five reps each. So today I got 97 and a half. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'll just do any amount between one and five. If I make five, fine. If not, we'll see what we can do with the second set. So here's the first set. Okay, that was four. Believe it or not, it's not the coming back up that's uh, that's really uh, hard. It's the coming down. So uh, as soon as the coming down gets easier, this whole bench thing will be back to normal again. All right, so that was four reps. Pretty surprised I did that. So uh, take my rest. I'll be back. Okay, so back. To for the second set. So let's see uh, how many reps I can do.
Okay, that was five. So, uh, I'll see you back after the uh, break. All right, so we're back here now for the third and final set. Um, there's two things I would really like to do is do the suicide uh, grip instead of wrapping the thumbs. It just feels so much better. And then, you know, if you saw my other videos, I explained that all those years I was doing the suicide grip. And then now for the last three years, I've been using, you know, the full grip. And I always wonder why I keep having a problem uh, setting up my hands. Um, and now that I found out that it was because uh, I was doing a suicide grip and uh, and my thumbs were around the bar when all those years of not doing it it was still stuck in my mind the suicide grip so uh, anyway it's not illegal to do the suicide grip uh, at a powerlifting meet it's just that it's not really smart because it would, if you're really using heavy weight and that thing just slips out of your palm for any reason that weight's going down and you can't trust those spotters they got kids spotting guys that are you know benching heavy weight so your your safest way to bench is with that thumb around the, the bar also i switched bars here and now i'm having a hard time figuring out where the spacing is because these garbage bars i call them big box bars they they, they're all made differently. Just the rings are in a different spot. Everything's in a different spot. And uh, I do have a rogue bar over there by the by the deadlift uh, platform, but I don't want to use that here because there's there's no way to keep it from getting damaged. There's no rubber uh, pads or anything on any of these uh, um, pins and stuff. So I don't want to damage my good bar. So that's why it's staying over there for deadlifts. So when I get uh, another rack here, um, they'll be having the uh, safety uh, uh, rubber pads there to keep the bar from getting damaged. But it, I'm not getting it before I'm finished here training, so I'm stuck with this bar now. So uh, anyway, let's quit talking and let's get this uh, done here. I did four, and yeah, I don't want to overdo it. I got all kinds of time here to, you know, do three sets of five. So I did four, I did five, and then I did four. So the next session, I should be able to do all three sets of five. All right, so the next exercise is the uh, incline bench. So uh, I'll be back after my break. I'm going to be doing the uh, incline bench now. I already did my warm-up set, so I did one work set. Um, 75 pounds. I wanted to do six reps, but I only do four. I did five reps uh, last session. So I'm just going to... Uh, dog's getting a little frisky here. So I'm going to do as many as I can.
That's it for today on that. I, uh, I pushed myself with the uh, pin presses and I'm a little sore. So it's either I push myself on the pin presses or save myself for the inclines. Well, the pin presses are, are more important. So uh, now I gotta do uh, shoulders, which no video on that. It's just, uh, it's just uh, exercises I do just to keep the shoulders healthy. If my little buddy here uh, will let me. So, uh, all right, so I'm gonna see you at the recap. Okay, so let's do the re recap for today. Today's uh, bench day, so I I did my uh, abs first thing. So I did my hanging knee raise. I did uh, four sets, twelve reps. And I did, did the cable crunch. I did four sets, sixty-five pounds, ten reps. Then I did my warm up for the bench. I did uh, one set of uh, push ups for twenty reps. Then I did my pin presses. Um, that little mark over there means that's a PR. So I did 55 pounds 15 times for the first time. Then um, I did 97.5 pounds for the first time, five reps. I did three sets. Then I did the incline barbell. And I warmed up at 45 and I worked myself up to the two working sets of 75 pounds. I did four the first set, only one the second set. And that's because uh, I got uh, a little uh, weak around that uh, left shoulder there um, after doing those pin presses, which felt good today. So then I went over and did my uh, shoulder routine. So I did lateral dumbbell raise. I did uh, eight pounds. I did two sets of ten and ten pounds, two sets of ten. Then I did the uh, front dumbbell raise, two sets of eight pounds, ten reps each. And then the bent over dumbbell raise, I did three sets, 10 pounds. And, uh, the first set was 13, then the last two sets was uh, 15 each. So, uh, yep, that's it for bench. I'm going to stay with the pin presses for a while. I'm starting to feel better. But then when I start uh, pushing up the weight and doing more reps uh, I'm a little weaker in the uh, the incline and I'm just doing the incline uh, and the sh and my shoulder routine because when I'm done with the uh, meat then I'm gonna switch over to uh, bodybuilding mode so I've been doing these exercises and I don't want to quit for two months because then when I come back I'll be uh, I have to start all over again so this way I'm not really worried about you know using heavier weights but at least I'm used to doing the exercise instead of having to start all over again so all right so uh, that's it so you guys stay healthy and I'll see you next time down in the basement if you like the video please like the video share the video and subscribe